going today, Jerry Bears? I'm Jerry Scott. If you're new here, don't forget to take a look around. Subscribe before you leave. Guess what? We're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about motivation. All right. Again, another unedited raw video because I've been slacking. Um, all right. Let's just talk about that because I have been slacking. And there was a reason. But even so, the reason is it was still more up here than body. Because it was my hand stuff. But you guys will see. Boom. Look how nice it looks. Oh, fuck yeah. So... After Australia, when I was at Australia, I had so much fun at VidCon and everything. And I was so motivated to come home and just shoot, 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 shoot videos. And then I had the swollen hand and the rash and everything. And then I just didn't do much at all for like the past week. And it really took a toll. It also, because I was taking allergy pills and like medication I would not normally take because that stuff just messes with me a lot. It just doesn't make me feel right. It makes me it doesn't make me feel not that I ever feel normal, but like normal. <laughs> and so I wanna talk about when that stuff does happen and you get demotivated and you just don't want to do stuff and then you procrastinate a lot and put things off to the very, very last minute. It's okay. It's okay. We all go through it. Things happen in life. And for the most part, yes, you can control a lot of how you feel and everything. But sometimes random stuff like that just happens. And you kind of just got to go with the flow. And you got to be okay with it. And you got to be okay with letting yourself do nothing and not beating yourself up over it. And just know that your motivation will come back eventually. And that it's not the not gonna stay like this forever but not also not to feed into it too much in that like even though I was feeling down I did still make sure to do my videos every day I did still do some of my base stuff every day I didn't get ahead and start shooting videos and planning more out and like I had hoped but at least I did still keep up with the daily videos because they are very important to me just because they're important you know like to make sure you keep that in your life and you don't just like throw that all away like it's never worth it to just throw things all away but I also had to understand of not being like oh I'm being so lazy I need to do this I oh what am I doing I'm doing such a bad job yeah like you have no excuse you da 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 no because that doesn't work it doesn't help that's just gonna make me feel worse and keep doing this longer I think today I actually am feeling more like oh okay I'm going to shoot videos today and everything is finally going to sort itself out because sometimes you just got to take that time to let everything up here work out and mentally deal with the fact that you know this weird thing happened to me that I didn't have control over and I kind of just have to like deal with it in a way and yes it sucks it messed up my plans and but then it's okay because there's obviously a reason for it. What is the reason for having that rash? I don't know. So I wear gloves on a plane now? I don't know. Maybe. So it doesn't ruin something more important later. Because I came home and I really had nothing I had to do. It was just coming home. So I'm fortunate that, or that it didn't happen on my trip. Like if it had happened on my trip, that would have just ruined everything. So I'm very grateful for the fact that that didn't happen. So what are some things to get you re-motivated when, you know, you go through that stuff and everything? I think just taking you time, you know? <laughs> I started watching Gossip Girl and I've been like, just watching it like crazy. And while it doesn't in some ways feel the most productive, it makes me happy and part of the getting out of your little funk is being happy, so that helps quite a bit. Um... How else do you get motivated after this? It's just not beating yourself up. It's very, very important. Allowing yourself the time to deal with the situation at hand. And then just doing the thing that you're like, don't feel like doing. Like, I'm, like when I would sit here and I would do videos anyway, even though I didn't feel like it, I knew that ultimately this is very important to me and I 
would be upset with myself later if I had stopped doing the videos. So, you know, depends on what you do, if it's too, in, too involved, if you can't or not keep uh, forcing, not forcing yourself, but like, like setting yourself up to still do it even though you don't, maybe you might not be able to do it at 100%, but at least doing it at, you know, 70% is better than not doing it at all, right? Yes. Yes it is! It definitely is. <laughs> um, and giving your brain a break and allowing yourself to do other things that you wouldn't have done. Like yesterday we took Freckles on a long drive over to like this vegan donut shop and it was nice just to get out of the house and not really do anything but hang out with my dog. Like just do some other stuff. It just helps get you reinvigorated for life. <laughs> so I guess that's, that's the info I have and kind of also what's going on with me and everything and if you guys have any questions of specific videos I know I have a bunch of stuff written down and there will be a ton of videos coming of just like so much awesome stuff I promise that if there's anything that you're missing or you want just put it down below and I will try to get to it and there are stuff there is stuff that is on my list that has been asked of me like months ago and I will make it if I said I will probably make that I will probably make it it just when it feels relevant in the right time for me, if that makes sense. All right guys, give this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Again, leave some comments or suggestions of videos that you want to see or are missing. And yeah, and also hit the bell for notifications. Not that I do this very often, but when I do go live, I don't really tell anybody, I just do it. So hit the bell if you want the notifications of if I'm ever going live. All right guys. I'm Jerry Sky. Sky's the limit. Woo!